Yo guys, what's going on today? It's your boy Kavi. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make some crazy ambient Drake R&B vibes. Super smooth piano vocals. Keeping it simple, but it always works. If you want this loop, you can download it for free in the description down below. And don't forget, if you haven't already, check out my Patreon. I got exclusive tutorials showing you how to make stuff like this. Discord community, consultations. Link to get that is in the description as well. But yeah, let's play the finished loop. So, you know, pretty simple beat, but it's got that nice classic Drake vibe to it. So without further ado, let's get right into the piano. All right, for the piano, I use this Oliver Arnold's Composer Toolkit, the Felt Grand Mixed Piano. It's a contact bank super fire. I use this piano all the time. This is what the chords look and sound like. The thought process behind these chords is it's just a major seventh, this one right here, A major seventh, down to a G sharp minor seventh. I use this chord progression all the time. It's really just two chords, and then I voiced it a little bit differently for the second half. These are just the middle notes brought up an octave, which is a super cool trick for a, like a second half of pattern to add some variation. And for effects on this, I just threw on RC20, the vinyl two preset, and some reverb. Next little piano I added was this little run right here, which is from the same exact bank. And what I did with this one is I just drowned it in reverb to make it kind of like a background sound and this is what that sounds like One thing that's really dope about this piano right here is I played with the sustain. Instead of making the notes play out like this to make them go out for a long time, what I did is I automated the sustain. You can do this down here in Logic. This just kind of gives it more of like a dreamy feeling, which on the piano you'd be using a sustain pedal. I have this sustain pedal right here, which you can connect to your keyboard. It makes the notes go on forever. Next thing I did was I just bounced both of those to audio and I pitched them down six semitones. And this is what they sound like right now. For a little switch up section, what I did right here is I just took the chords and I reversed them. I chopped them up and reversed them so they're playing in the same order that I created them in. I also pitched this up 12 and added this decimal 2. And this is what that section sounds like. If you're not already, I highly recommend like bouncing everything from MIDI to audio just so you can manipulate it more. It's just a different kind of way to experiment and process stuff. After I had that, I went into splice and I found these vocal chops right here. What I did is I went in, grabbed this magnitude transition one preset, which I use on almost all my vocals, put this Valhalla reverb on. And then I also put this tape delay on from Logic just to stock half note delay. And this is what that sounds like after that. So it's already sounding super dope, but I kind of wanted to add more vocals in this. Instead of finding more chops to add, what I did is I just kind of flipped these. The first thing I did is I pitched this up an octave for the second half, and it sounds like this. And I just layered that with the main take together. It sounds like this.
I just kind of add some high end and changes up the loop a little bit. And the final thing I added with the vocals is this little reverse section. I just chopped out one of these little melodies from the vocal right here and I reversed it, put this decimord on it, put the magnitude transition one preset. And then I also put a rotor cabinet, which is kind of weird, but it works with the, when you do a reverse vocal, it adds this cool effect. And this is what that sounds like. I layered that with same thing, just pitched up an octave. For the second section, I just pitched all of it down an octave. That's pretty much how you can get a lot of mileage per vocal chop. Just reverse it, add effects, layer it with itself, different octaves, just to kind of add some uh, variation in the loop. And then you'll spend less time digging for vocals, which takes a bunch of time. Next thing that I added was this bass line right here. This is from my, this is from my analog lab bank. Confessions. I grabbed this bass square one preset. And if you're a fan of this bank, I got a volume two coming soon that I'm working on, so stay tuned for that. And this is what the bass looks and sounds like. This bass line seems a little bit complicated, but it's really not. It's just two notes. And I just added this little note right here that isn't one of the root notes, but I just wanted it to walk up into the next section. One of the last sounds that I added here was this pad from my analog lab bank that's coming soon the volume two to the confessions and uh it's this pad called recognize what i did is i added a shaper box on this for a side chain i added some rc20 and just a little decimal to cut out the high end and add some reverb and this is what that sounds like And that's the MIDI for that is just copy and paste from the piano. So nothing to see there. Last thing that I had to do was arrange it out and add some effects. Uh, for the effects, you know, I have to add the chimes. So that's super simple. And then I added this cool little synth run that's also from my one shot analog lab bank kit, the confessions. It's the run once and needs. So after that, I just arranged everything. And at the end here, I made sure that all the stems have a space in between them, as you can see right here. And that's just to make sure that if there's any reverb or something like that, it doesn't bleed over into the next stem. All right, and after that, what I did is I just bounced the whole thing down into one file and I flipped it into a beat. So without further ado, this is what the finished beat sounds like. So it sounds super dope. Uh, let's get right into these drums. This is the kick, super simple. I'm really thinking of this kick less as like a, an element for the rhythm, but more just like a, a hit on each one every four bars, uh, just to kind of add some impact. And next thing I did is add the snare, which is just the Just Blaze snare. I added a little Valhalla reverb on that, turned it down to 0.8%, so it's just subtle, but it kind of adds to the ambience. Next thing I did was I added this Boy Wanda hi-hat, and this is what that sounds like. Super simple. I had a little bit of a hollow reverb on this one as well. Pretty much for this hi-hat mini, you just keep it really spaced out. Add a little roll here and there just to spice it up a little bit. Nothing crazy. And then open hat, just put it at the end of every pattern. Sounds like this. Last thing I added was this little tom sound Drake uses a lot. That's sitting at the end of every eight bars. This is what that sounds like. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for some more. Let me know what you want. Comments down below. Don't forget to get this loop for free. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.